All right, this is a little more inspiring video than the Delaware basketball hoop thing that I responded to yesterday. I mean, so you got this woman, you know, she's a Romney volunteer and, and she just quits. She, she just goes on and does this interview and says, I'm done. And uh, I'm, you might have picked up on this before. I was a former Mitt Romney supporter. And you'd ask why. He's awful. Well, I really don't like Palin and Huckabee. I can't stand people like them who want to push their values on everyone else and regulate personal behavior. Romney wants to do a little bit of that, but he's really not as outspoken about it, and I honestly don't think he would do it as much as they would. But what really matters is, when you have a candidate that consistently puts liberty in, into their message and into what they want to do, you don't have to settle for the candidate that's going to steal the least liberties. You pick the candidate that's going to promote the most liberty, and that's Ron Paul. There's no reason to support anyone else right now that's in the race. I mean, Gary Johnson's going to get in, sure. If you want to support him, go ahead, fine. He, he does a pretty good job at promoting liberty. And if Rand runs instead of Ron, yeah, I'd go with that. But you don't, you shouldn't support these Mitt Romney, Palin, Huckabee, Barber, Polenti types. If you ask them the fundamental question, do you want to shrink government, they will answer, no, we want to grow it. We want to invade your privacy. We want to start wars. So this, this is a pretty good video, pretty inspiring video. Uh, I hope we see a lot more like it. Um, I'd like to see it with some, uh, with some other candidates, Palin, Huckabee, Palin in particular, because I think she's, she's fooled a lot of people trying to pretend to be a Liberty candidate, but she's not. Ron Paul 2012, that's the only way to go if you want Liberty.